What's going on, VV gang? Welcome back to the channel, All Things Strange. It's your man, Dr. Strange, and we are back in action. So I'm asking, are we stacking or slacking? We got another comic drop. I have one today, but we got another one tomorrow. We're getting Black Panther number five. And this one, it's not an oldie. It's a newbie. It's still a goodie, I believe. This one dropped in 2009, so we're going to hop in, check out our exclusive rare, ultra rare covers. We're going to check out some values. We're going to dig in and figure out is this worth stacking or slacking on. So let's dive in, see what the BB Twitter fam is talking about. Get some go collect info. Let's do it. All right, so here we are on BB's Twitter, checking out Black Panther number five. Says we're getting exclusive rare and ultra rare covers by Romy Jones. So that's what's up. Let's see what the baby Twitter fam is talking about. Yeah, that's a dope cover right there. That's dope. Okay, okay. So that's one of the posts right there. Um, let's go back to an older one because I know more people commented on this one right here. Let's see, let's see how MCP can we get that? Man, we got some interoperability info. But let's go. Abdullah Arif always coming through with the Go Collect info. So let's check it out. Looks like according to Go Collect, the 9.8 is going for $110. We got about 238, 238 of those sold. Or sent in for grading, got 96 sales, so that's how many are sold of that. We got a 9.2 going for 85 bucks, a 9.0 going for 75. We pretty much get the gist here. Nothing bank breaking going on with this comic, you know what I'm saying? So let's hop on out and hop on in to the medium article, get some more info. Right, so here we are on BV's Medium article checking out Black Panther number five. And it says here the first story appearance of Shuri as the Black Panther. Morlin, devourer of totems, is cutting through the Wakandan ar army like a hot knife through butter as she descends on the palace to feast on T'Challa's body. Sounds like some cannibalism. Absolutely nothing can stop him. Wakanda's only hope is the new Black Panther. Hmm. So this is where Shuri takes the mantle, I'm guessing here. We're gonna check out those covers in a minute by Romina Jones. We got this dropping tomorrow, February 16th, 699. This was published in 2009. We're gonna get into some comic info, some mint edition info in a second. We got 10,000 total editions. First available public edition is number 186. We have 6,000 common classic covers. We have 2,250 uncommon vintage variants. We have 1,000 rare hero variants. We have 500 ultra rare vibranium variants. And then we have 250 true believer variant secret rares. So, let us explore and check out these covers. This is our common Dark Rain Black Panther. I like this artwork done by Hudlin. I believe it's Hudlin. We're going to go over to Key Collect to get some more info here. But yeah, this original cover here is definitely some fire. Definitely got Storm on it. Yeah, who this is? Oh, that's homegirl. Okay, yo, yeah, I'm digging that. I like this. You know, we're gonna see how much these are worth in real life in a second. Let's check out the uncommon for now. I'm definitely digging the uncommon. I like this. Only got main saturation on our main characters in this book here. So I like this vintage variant. Let's check out our exclusive rare cover. This is fire. 
this is fire yo just to be you know what i'm saying not just the character i like that i like that i like it i like it man let me know what you guys think in the comments man matter of fact i want to know what's your favorite rare like a vb exclusive cover type of rare or, or ultra rare cover let me know in the comments man so let's check out the ultra rare real quick this is definitely dope <laughs> got the fam superstar money's colors in there so i know they're gonna be trying to stack up on a couple of these in the aftermarket most likely i really like this man i like this and for this to be like a exclusive cover just for us like i'm digging this i'm digging this for real um now i'm a little nervous let's check out the secret rare let's see what we got that's fire damn damn that's fire yo. like that is yeah I like it, man. I like it. I want to know what you guys think, man. 250 of these. Yeah, yeah, I like it. So, let us hop over to Key Collector, see if we can get some more info. Be sure to check out this BB Medium article so you can get the official Black Panther breakdown done by Corey, aka O Rhubarb. And um, that should be dope. I'm going to check that out in a minute myself. So, yeah, let's hop on over to Key Collect to see what's going on. Okay, guys, here we are on Key Collector Comics. And it says here, Black Panther number five has a low of $8, a mid of $20, and a high of $80. And it says this is the value by grade. This is the first appearance of Shuri as the Black Panther in story. Uh... And says previously appeared in a Black Panther costume on the cover of Black Panther number one in 2009. Very interesting. So the artist was J. Scott Campbell. So I believe that's why we saw that little auto um, in the bottom right corner. Um, and this was published in. This says August 2009. So that's interesting. All right. Uh, let's check out some additional covers here um basically the only other cover that was made was this newsstand um see that by this style of barcode down here um so there that goes now i'll show you in comparison to the other one but for the newsstand variant that had a low of 30 a mid of 90 and a high 300 um so yeah like it says here newsstand edition indicated by barcode so again see how this one looks kind of thick wide better um we'll go back to previous page and you can see here uh, actually looks similar actually looks kind of similar i thought they looked a little different before but yeah there you go so we got some key collector info let's hop on over um and get some uh key mint numbers that i've been able to identify so let's do that all right ladies and gentlemen let's check out some key edition numbers here uh we got of course number 616 which is the main earth that this story and our characters are in we got serial number 7309 that's the year published date july 3rd 2009 and i got that information actually from marbleuniverse.com so i'm not sure where they um are getting the august date from on key collector maybe that's the actual date to hit the stands i'm not sure but as per marvel i got 73 2009 so look out for 7309 also look out for 1966 that's the character's fa year look out for 2023 that's vb's nft release year look out for number 186 that's the first available public edition and of course i got for number 2016 2016 is the year that black panther made his first movie appearance i believe that was civil war so yeah there you got that guys let's hop on over to ebay check out some um values current real time let's go all right guys we're on ebay checking out black panther number five and this is the 2009 release about to drop on the bb app so 
Let me uh, sort by highest price and shipping. Get right to the nitty gritty. And as we can see, a 9.8. Right now, people want eight ninety nine for that jump off. So this book definitely looks like it rose in value. Somebody else wants a 9.8 signed by Scott Campbell for seven ninety nine. I'd rather get that one. Got another one here. 9.8 going for 759 another 9.8 745 and yeah it's gonna keep descending from there but you know not bad man not bad values at all for this book for it to be a modern joint um people are definitely um giving it that extra value because of the first appearance you know um cherry black panther appearance and i think you know having storm on the cover you know, New Age Black Panther on the cover, like it just made it pop, man. It makes the cover pop. It's definitely ill art. You know what I mean? So the question is, are we gonna stack or slack on Black Panther number five? I'll tell you, being that I like these covers a lot and wouldn't mind landing any of them and all of them, I'm gonna go for the drop. Um, I didn't see any restrictions as far as purchase restrictions, so um, we could obviously go for five if we wanted to. So on the drop, am I going to stack it? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? Um, I could see this book, the Common, going for $250, maybe $3 aftermarket for a little while. So I do see myself stacking in the market. Um, one thing to note. I think I'm gonna actually target some of these rares, um, especially in regard to MCP. Um, I think people are gonna dump these rares for about seven to eight bucks. So I might grab a couple of those, hold a couple down for MCP, a couple for myself, you know, the ultra rares. I can see those going for around 23 and change, somewhere around there. Um, so, you know, if you like the artwork, um, you might wanna grab some up yourself, you know what I'm saying? I think that the book, um, it's showing some signs of um, a little pop, you know what I'm saying? Could be just because the new movie is out and, you know, you know the whole storyline behind that. So that could be that, you know, I'm not really sure. But, you know, it's hard to say if it's already hit its peak or like are we looking at its peak right now? It's very possible, you know. So move accordingly, people. You know, that's all I can really tell you. So... I'm going to be slacking on the drop, but I'm going to be stacking in the aftermarket. I'm going to be targeting uh, commons and rares personally, but I'd like to know what you guys are doing. What are you going to do on this drop? Are you going for it? Are you skipping it? Are you stacking or are you slacking? Till next time, your man, Dr. Strange, all things strange out. Purchase today. You know, one thing about us wise guys, the hustle never ends.